Visual Honey. Hi everyone. My name is Jewel, and today I will be doing a review on the No Brand Arrangement Balls and the Night Angel and Day Fun Balls. And this was a really great preferences because they can be used as true toys as they chew on the sticks and you can also place treats inside so it can also serve as a bottom breaker so i will be showing you both individually before going into the comparison and i will also be talking about some hazards and precautions that you can take when using um, toys like this so I'll be showing you the no brand enrichment balls first and these ones are made from seagrass, this one is made from rattan and this is made from water hyacinth. And this is all natural and no glue is used. Um, the description when I bought said that they are handmade and no glue is used and it's safe for small animals like hamsters and rabbits. So. These ones are quite large in size, about 6 to 7 cm wide and it's actually quite big for a hamster and it would take them quite a while to unravel each ball is, but I think for the rattan ones, they will actually bite through it quite fast if they are very active and you can see that it's layered for, this, for the water hanging one and the seagrass ones so it will be a bit difficult for you to push treats inside it will be more of um, an arrangement for them to chew and you should also take note that not all hamsters will like to use toys like this which is why I personally prefer the rattan one because I can put some treats inside to encourage them to chew through it and for the seagrass ones I can probably fit some seeds inside as well but for the water hanging one, it seems to be a little bit difficult. And I would say that um, it doesn't look really good. Like you can see like black spots on it and areas on it. And it kind of looks dirty in my opinion. And this came in a Ziploc bag that was not enclosed and was actually quite dusty. So I actually took it and froze it because I was... Uh, I didn't want it to have like mites or potential bugs that could um, hurt my hamsters. So these are the ones that are not branded and you can see that parts of it are actually broken and it's actually quite sharp. So I would actually recommend using this kind of toys only with supervision because there are gaps inside and you wouldn't want your hamster to be stuck like their limbs or their nails or their head could get stuck when they are trying to squeeze or interact and play with it so i personally would only use this kind of toys with um 100 supervision so these ones are the night angel and Dui fun balls and we can first take a look at the packaging it says timothy play and chew balls and it has a width of 7 cm sorry a diameter of 7 cm and Timothy play and chew balls. It says that it has fiber 34.1%, protein 5%, and fat 1%. Use in care instructions. Wash with cool water if needed. Dry only in sunlight. Remove all packaging materials and the desiccant packet before placing in your pet's habitat. The features state number one, earth friendly and pet safe materials like Timothy hay, seagrass, corn husk. Number two, unique manufactured by hand woven. Number three, easy to gnawing, rolling to play. Number four, enrich pets pastime, prevent boredom. And number five, high fiber, keep healthy digestion system. I would say that um, although, yes, it's high in fiber, but I would think that most hamsters wouldn't actually ingest it, but just um, interact with it. It says that um, it is easy to gnaw and they can roll it to play which is true, they will actually do that and it prevents boredom because um, they will interact with it and it is hand woven so it is it does not have any harmful glue so let's open it up and take a look at each of the 8 balls and I actually like how it, it provides a variety so you can actually um, try every type and test it out and 
figure out what kind of material your pet enjoys interacting with and you could get more of that specifically that material for your hamster so this one is made from corn husk and I think this is seagrass and it actually smells really good like when I open a package I can smell like this very nice earthy like grass smell so I would think that a hamster would prefer interacting with this one and oh I can see Timothy Hay um, inside I would say to be careful when using this with your hamster because it could poke your hamster's um, eye um, this is also enclosed with seagrass. This one, not sure what material this is. I think this is corn husk um, that is treaded, like made into a tread. So this one, they're all really solid and I think it can fit some seeds inside this one. This one should be rotten or willow. And yeah, I don't see any exposed exposed ends and it's very good in the sense that i can stick a lot of different size treats inside this one and this one is made from water hand shimp and this one also has black spots so i guess that's kind of normal um i would still be on the safe side and probably like freeze these before using for my hamster and this one is made of corn husk as well i love that it pro this set provides a variety of textures so, you know, that your hamster is not bored because um, you have a lot of options available each time. Um, this one seems to be made of, from cocoa fiber and seagrass. And I don't think I can fit any seeds inside this one, but I'll see. I will try it and see if my hamster likes to play with all this. And I will update in the comments below after i have let them try all <laughs> their different kinds because it takes them quite a while to actually um, interact and dismantle each one so these are the eight types that are inside the night angel one so now let's move on to the comparison part of this video and with me here i have the night angel ones and the no brand ones and we'll be comparing um each of them first like uh, the size first so you can see that the Night Angel one is 7cm and this one is about 5-6cm to 6 cm big and I would say that I prefer the Night Angel one because I don't see any protruding sticks that could injure the hamster but as for this one I could find um, there was a stick that was protruding out but I managed to break it off so let me find another example so this one you can see that it's broken and it has some sharp edges that are poking out as well you can just cut it off so you can use it for your hamster and this is also why i recommend using such toys with only with supervision because you don't want your hamster to get injured and as i mentioned earlier in this video uh, your hamster can also get stuck in the holes and gaps and it can be quite dangerous so i would recommend only using with supervision and I would say I like the rotten and the, I think this is willow, I'm not too sure, but it could be rotten as well, but the color and the material is slightly different, so I think this might be willow ball, and I like this ones because you can place the treats inside to encourage your hamsters. As for this ones, it's really more of like interaction of material and um, allowing them to chew and engage them. These ones are the no brand ones, and uh, I would think that I I find both really good really just the packaging wise uh, I find that the no brand ones were quite um, I didn't find that it was hygienic because it was randomly placed in a ziplock bag so for hygiene I would prefer uh, buying from Night Angel because of the way that they package and I trust the brand because I've used their products before I would say that it's a lot more affordable to get the no brand ones though and you can just take the extra precaution to freeze it to sanitize it as well and I like that the night angel one has a lot of variety so uh, I will let my hamsters try both of the um, products out then I will probably make another video of them interacting with the different balls and materials 
and this is the end of my comparison video so I hope that you kind of know uh, which you want to try and which um, of the products you prefer to get and also remember to use with supervision for your hamster safety and I really I, I honestly really like the variety in this one but I would if I'm on a budget I would probably go for the um, no brand ones <laughs> instead so yeah I guess it depends on what you prefer so thank you for listening to my video and subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed the video and look forward to more hamster related content on this channel thank you so much for your time bye have a good day